This is AK reminding you to, yo, 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 subscribe to the show. Today is a monumental day in recruiting in the class of 2023, especially a monumental day in the class of 2023 for the Texas Longhorns as longtime highly coveted prospects, highly talented prospect Cedric Baxter made his commitment to the Texas Longhorns today. The four-star running back from Orlando, Florida is six foot one, 215 pounds already, plays his high school football for Edgewater out of the Orlando area, and is an absolute menace on the football field. And that absolute menace foot on the football field is gonna be playing on the 40s in the acre in Austin for the Texas Longhorns, and he is gonna be the 22nd overall commitment for the Texas Longhorns in the class of 2023. He is the second running back overall in said class as he marks the second four-star running back to Trey Wisner, who's gonna be a product from DeSoto, Texas, previously from Waco, and he is the 12th offensive player overall in the class of 2023. And moving Texas Longhorns from the fifth spot into the fourth spot overall in the overall rankings by 247 Sports, and that's gonna be the overall composite ranking site that I do use, is because I believe that they are the number one overall in said recruiting uh, composite rating source. Welcome to the program, Eyes on Texas channel, AK here with a recruitment style video, a commitment style video, and if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, please do so as it helps with the channel immensely, and like this video as well as it helps rise to the occasion in the YouTube rating sports. With that being said, what is Cedric Baxter as a player? Well, I did say he is six foot one, 215 pounds, and as you already know about college football, that is gonna be an built, frame already made for college football six foot tall and over 220 pounds is probably what he's going to arrive on campus to be when he does finally get to Austin, and that is going to be plenty big enough. He is built rock solid, and with that rock solid build, he can definitely tote the note for those four and five yard gains and take it to the house with that laser timed 4.5 speed. And that is going to be an explosive speed, an explosive skill set for this young man. As already being 215 pounds, he is a menace for would be tactical of a high school level and is most definitely going to be a would-be menace for tacklers on the college football level as well. He can take it to the house on the inside cut. He can bounce it out to the house on the outside cut. He also does some kickoffs, has played defensive back for his uh, playoff run for uh, Edgewater High School out there in Florida as an every down back is set to come to the Texas Longhorns. Uh, every down playmaker is set to come to the Longhorns. And with that 215 pound frame, he is college ready for blitz pickup. And that is an absolute must if you're gonna be a running back. Cause not only are you gonna be uh, told to tote the note and carry the ball and take up and absorb all those hits, you're also gonna be asked to take up and absorb bigger and larger hits from blitzing linebackers and blitzing defensive backs that you're gonna need to pick up for your quarterback as well. Because if you can't do that, you're not gonna see the field all three downs and you're just gonna be a plug and play kind of sort of specialty back. But with this college ready frame and with his skill set, I believe Skezit Baxter is gonna be an every down back for the Texas Longhorns. Let's talk about that junior year production as he did play in 12 games in uh, 2021 big time playmaker, had just over 200 attempts at 202 carries. He had 1,718 yards and he did cross the goal line 26 times for his uh, high school team and made a big time playmaker, took it to the house, but averaging 8.3 yards a carry, man, that is absolutely gonna get it done at the high school level and gonna most definitely look to improve those numbers uh, at his senior year down there uh, at Edgewater. But with that being said, let's talk about the running back room when in fact, he does get to uh, the Texas Longhorns and in on campus in his class of 2023. Well, what's gonna already happen is Roshan Johnson, he's already gonna be moved out. He's already gonna be seniored out and most likely gonna be a fourth round draft pick, according to myself in the NFL draft this year. 
Bijan Robinson, the junior sensation, might win the Heisman Trophy. Is definitely going to be a Heisman Trophy candidate. He is going to forego his senior season, just play three years for the Texas Longhorns, and he is going to bounce it out for the NFL. So that's going to leave Jaden Blue, who's going to be a year two player, very highly touted running back from the Houston area as well. He is going to be a running back in the class of 2022. Another running back in his third year is going to be Jonathan Brooks. The shifty playmaker from Hallettsville was absolutely everything for the Brahmas. He is a uh, will be in his third year in the class of 2021. He's a shifty in a phone booth kind of sort of player. Talking about Jonathan Brooks. Doesn't have the overall laser time speed, that 4-5 speed that uh, Cedric Baxter has. Doesn't have the overall speed that uh, Jaden Blue has as well. But without a doubt, Jonathan Brooks is a hard-nosed player, and it will be a player to be recognized in this running back room. And of course, obviously, in the aforementioned Trey Wisner in the class of 2023 is also going to be in the same running back class as uh, Cedric Baxter Jr. But let's talk about the running back room for the for the 23 season, right? We're talking about Robinson being out. We're talking about Roshan Johnson being out. How I see it shaking up, how I see it shaking down is I see Jonathan Brooks pretty much being a running back one and getting the majority of the carries, but I did say he will lack that overall playmaking ability and uh, some of that top end speed. And that's going to be subsidized with Jaden Blue, who I think in some games is going to get eight, 10, even possibly 12 carries. And he's going to have some versatility in there, catching the ball out of the backfield. And in his freshman year in the class of 2023, I see Cedric Baxter possibly getting six, eight carries a game, most definitely making an impact in year one as a freshman. And Trey Wisner might get enough games to uh, not keep that red shirt, but I see him being spotty, uh, picking up carries in uh, spot carries for the Texas Longhorns. Probably going to go ahead and keep his red shirt. But amazing pickup for the Texas Longhorns as nationally rated a top flight running back, a top 100, a top 50 player overall as 247 Sports has him as a five-star running back. Uh, going to be a nationally rated 31 already. But when it is all L said and done, they do take 32 players. So that's why I'm going to say 247 Sports has him as a five-star rating already. The composite, which is going to be a, uh, a matrix of all the uh, of all the sites, right? It's going to have 247 on three ESPN in there as well, uh, mixed in there for in the rating. And they have him as 48th overall. But with that being said, an absolute playmaker, an absolute stud. If you've yet to commit to the channel. If you've yet to like this video, please do so. You've watched me already. You've spent over five, eight minutes with me already. You might as well make the commitment to the channel. This is AK reminding you to, yo, 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 subscribe to the show.